What is up everybody? Well, this morning I am here in East Baton Rouge Parish. This is uh, Green Oaks Memorial Park Cemetery. And I'm here for two graves. One is the second husband of my great-grandmother. Um, and the other is the first wife of my great-grandfather. Different sides of the family. <laughs> Just so we don't get confused about that but um, this cemetery is absolutely beautiful it's uh, very large there's a couple mausoleums in the back here some uh, mausoleums over here on the side there's uh, some beautiful statues and stuff I came here uh, there's a big front office you can see it uh, back there somewhere white building or a brick building sorry but uh, I came here, I had no idea where I was going, so I walked in there. It's uh, also a funeral home. The lady at the front desk was very nice. I asked her if she could help me locate two graves. She actually called some people that uh, they have like a family services uh, department. And she gave them the names and they looked them up and she highlighted them on a map. And I'll throw some pictures of the maps up here. And uh, walked come out here and found it right away I mean it's it was uh, probably one of the easiest transactions I've ever done at any cemetery if you want to call it that but so uh, I'll turn the camera around here and show you what I'm gonna work on today this is the first one this here is uh, Ruben Felix Ruiz he was uh, the second wife or second husband of my great grandmother and uh, he was a paddle wheel captain on the Mississippi River and uh, I believe uh, my mother told me that uh, he was the oldest uh, captain to sail the full length of the Mississippi at one time or something like that and uh, he's actually he was the last captain of the paddle wheel Sprague or Sprague however you want to pronounce it I guess um, he died before I was born I actually never got to meet him um, and I think he's buried here with his first wife uh, Velma but uh, this plaque it's really nice it's a, a really it's a common uh, kind of design really um, for the era it's started to turn green and stuff and you can see that it's got a broken foundation underneath it and it looks like it's been driven over by lawnmowers and stuff and, and it's kind of getting bent but um, so uh, the process today on this one is just going to be to clean it with some uh, Orvis soap and water uh, it's, the sun hasn't come out yet there, we've had some uh, rainstorms that were going by kind of close by and we've had cloud deck but got blue skies ahead right now so I'm gonna clean this I'm gonna go and find the other one that I want to work on and let this one dry and then we're gonna uh, wire brush this to get some of that green off of it and re-clear coat it and uh, after that dries we'll put a coat of wax on it so I think it'll turn out really nice I'll put some uh, pictures up uh, during this video of uh, some of the things I've found about the paddle wheel Sprague that he captained. Uh, he was the last captain. I think it was decommissioned. Um, oh, geez. I think in the 70, 1970s. And I believe uh, they, re they either recommissioned it as uh, like a ferry boat or uh, I can't remember now because obviously I've, I've done so much research on different things. Um, or they took it out and sunk it and made a uh, uh, man-made reef with it. I can't remember which one of those two it was, but I'll be sure to post that up in this video if I find out. So um, first thing we're going to do, we're just going to scrub the whole thing down with some more of a soap and water and then uh, rinse it off, let it dry. We'll go find uh, the other plaque that I... I'm going to work on in here, which isn't real far away, and uh, we'll go from there. 
and I'll probably put that other plaque in another video of its own. <laughs> Give her a rinse and uh, let it dry. All the water is going to run right in there. <laughs> okay, well, the sun's going to come out now and uh, help that to dry off. Uh, we'll go. I'm gonna go find that other plaque that I want to work on, and uh, we'll come back to this one. Okay, so they uh, came through here and mowed. And I got all the grass off of this plaque. I've got uh, two different kinds of wire brush here. And we're gonna start out by wire brushing this whole plaque, and uh, I'm gonna start with the bronze brush. See how it does. If it doesn't do good enough, I'm gonna move up to the stainless steel. But uh, basically, just gonna brush it and try to get that oxidation off. And uh, you can see that it is removing some of that oxidation. I'm gonna try this stainless brush. Seems like the stainless always works. Okay, I've got the whole thing wire brushed. Now it's just touch up the uh, lettering and clear coat it. probably could have paid a little more attention to detail on these medallions and stuff but I've done a few plaques similar to this already back at home and uh, they turn out looking much better if you just leave some of the patina on there I mean this thing looks great all right well while I wasn't paying attention my camera overheated out here in the sun and uh, shut off but uh, so basically I sprayed this whole thing with clear coat I don't know where uh, the camera might have shut off at but 
Uh, it's pretty well dry now because it's right out in the hot sun. But uh, I can see there's a little bit of unevenness in the clear coat, so I'm gonna just uh, give it another coating. Let it dry for a few minutes and see what it looks like. And that'll be that. This is a uh, UV resistant clear coat. Um, it's a Rust-Oleum brand, Painter's Touch. Looks really nice. Leaves a really nice gloss finish. And uh, I'm gonna take this base and kind of clean it up a little bit. This is really hard to uh, get into to, to wire brush all of that. Might be able to do some just to knock the big loose stuff off. And then we'll uh, put a coat of clear coat on there. Let that dry for a minute, drop that in. That's pretty much it. Well, I'd like to thank you guys all for coming along to this beautiful cemetery on this beautiful day in East Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Feel that nice breeze? It's hotter than heck out today. <laughs> if you guys like this video, please leave me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, share it with all your friends and uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else just like this.